So amidst all the trouble in the country as of today and all the trouble that are giving that the Labour Party is having, um, Abure, we know how he was arrested in Edo State and put some charges of gun running on him. Uh, but later he was released uh, when uh, the police and the DSS were put under uh, pressure. Okay. And we also understand all the issues within the Labour Party with their national treasurer, Oluchi, uh, trying to say that Aburi embezzled almost 3 billion naira. And at the same time, Arab and B and Papa group are also chasing Peter B and Aburi from one corner. And APC and other opposition parties are doing everything to break the Labour Party because of, uh, you know, their stance. So in all of this put together, the Labour Party national chairman, Barista Julius Aburi, has come out to say they won't rest until they take over our government. He said, we won't rest until we take over government. <laughs> I'm saying the fight not be here. He means that Labour Party is ready. Labour Party wants to make sure that they don't leave any stone unturned. This is, uh, this is, this is battle now. That means that the battle line has been drawn between Labour Party and the rest political parties in Nigeria. Okay, we won't rest until we have taken over this government. The national chairman of the Labour Party, Mr. Julius Habure, has said that the party will sustain its push for a better Nigeria until it eventually gets the people's mandate to provide quality leadership for the country. Habure, who was fielding questions from newsmen in Omaha, Abia State, after a critical meeting of the National Working Committee members of Labour Party with the Governor Alex Oti decried the precarious situation of Nigeria following the removal of first subsidy by the All Progressive Congress APC led government. He regretted that Nigerians, though living in the midst of plenty, had continued to wallow in abject poverty due to leadership ineptitude. So Abure promised that Labour Party as a credible position will continue to be a watchdog for the masses until it eventually takes over power in future elections. We will not rest until we are able to take over government and provide the people quality leadership that will work for the country. Reps to Tinubu. Okay. And uh, so with all of that, uh, it means that they are ready to, you know, to challenge the government till the end of time. <laughs> This uh, Julius Aburi, again, uh, himself and combination of Julius Aburi and Peter Obi and uh, uh, Tanko Yunusa. <clears throat> I, I wonder the, where they get their liver from, I'm telling you. And then the likes of uh, Aisha Isufu and Dele Farotimi, uh, they are back. I'm telling you, the hey, APC, even though they are going ahead because they're in power, they are not finding it uh, funny, they are not finding it easy at all. So now Abure is saying that in the, even in the midst of plenty, Nigeria is blessed with all forms of resources, both natural, agricultural, human resources, just name it. In the midst of all of that, Nigeria is living in abject poverty. It's unacceptable, frankly speaking. It's unacceptable. So with that, they said they have vowed to remain credible opposition, to remain resolute, fighting, ensuring that they can remain the, the credible watchdog for this government until they finally take over power to provide the kind of credible leadership that the country needs. They will not rest. I think, thank God for them, and I know that one day they will get this power and uh, not a joke. They will not, uh, you know, the day they will get the power, I tell you, Nigeria will jubilate, for so Nigeria will jubilate very well. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, somebody said here a man who takes several protests against good luck Jonathan is now against protest yes now and this is comment is coming because the the the, the, the Tinubu said that Nigerian Labour Congress can't fight him he said they can't fight him okay oh. and that is staging everything against the NLC mm -hmm. uh, as I say it is very clear that Tinubu and APC have nothing to offer Nigeria APC destroyed the economy of Nigeria in eight years. Shame to those who supported APC to get into power. Because they, they supported APC because of what they will get. That is the truth. Mm. 
Okay, and uh, based on the statement that Abure said, Abure said they would not rise until they get power. Uh, somebody is saying this nonsense old fool cargo thief only criminal as you don't. Okay, as uh, so you don't buy election from INEC, you don't they talk anyhow. Okay, so this statement is against Tinubu again because Tinubu said that uh, you know that the NLC can't fight him. Okay. Someone said, what did the worry man call Tinubu self? Hey, that'd be smarty that they give up for you. Just because he said uh, Nigerian Labour Congress can't fight him. Okay, so they can't fight him. All right. Oh. But we are talking about the other part where the, uh, uh, what do they call him? Where Julius Abure is saying that they will never rest until they are taking over power. And somebody's reacting to that here. Some say Labour Party, Abure, NLC want to take over government through protest. Can you imagine? So you see Labour Party, Julius Abure and NLC, they all want to take over uh, uh, power by force and by protest. So what are you saying? That Labour Party and NLC are working together? <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see how it goes now. Uh, he pays you as he do you you will close your mouth. How? Okay. So, uh, someone saying, is Labour Party the same as National Labour, National Labour Congress? No wonder it will be joined Labour Party. Time will tell. Can you imagine? Somebody is trying to connect Labour Party with, uh, with uh, what do they call them, with NLC now. Just because uh, they are seeing them as Igbo. They look at their color, they look at everything, they say these people are Igbo. But I think there is something good about Labour Party we just need to let them take over power first and let's see what they can do. We have tested PDP, we have tested APC, and we have seen that none of them has anything better to offer Nigerians. Hmm. All right. Somebody is saying that so NLC president is openly supporting a political party. Well, that is not the issue here. The fact remains that the uh, Labour Party is on its own and they will never already. I heard when uh, uh, the NLC chairman said he will support the Labour Party, any other person in the NLC is free to support any political party. So that is it. And then somebody saying, which government is Aburi talking, uh, talking uh, of taking over in 2027? You are daydreaming. Okay, so if you take it daydreaming, let's see what happens now. So the way it is now, um how is Labour Party going to make it to take over power? That is a key issue that we need to look at. Okay. So thank you for listening. Let's have a comment. That is what Julius Abure is saying that they won't rest until they have taken over.